Good day everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christ Church Radio. My name is Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, the attention is on understanding the roles of payment service banks. The Central Bank of Nigeria recently granted approval in principle for payment service banks (PSBs) licenses to MTN Nigeria and Airtel Africa, Nigeria's leading telecommunication companies. This means that the CBN has now licensed five PSBs in Nigeria. The three existing ones are Nine PSB Limited, a subsidiary of Nine Mobile, Hope PSB Limited, a subsidiary of Unified Payments, and Money Master PSB Limited, a subsidiary of Glow. What are PSBs? PSBs are a new category of banks with smaller scale operations but without the permission to grant loans and advances and deal in foreign exchange operations. Think of the PSBs as basically stripped down versions of the traditional banks with limited functionality and a mandate to onboard more of the financially excluded population. Objectives of the PSBs The CBN's main objective of setting up PSBs is to enhance financial inclusion by increasing access to deposit products and payments and remittances services to small businesses, low-income households, and other financially excluded entities through high-volume, low-value transactions in a safeguarded, technology-driven environment. This is to complement the efforts of other services provided by the CBN licensed entities. Additionally, the PSBs are expected to leverage on mobile and digital channels to boost financial inclusion and stimulate economic activities at the grassroots through the provision of financial services. There are about 190.9 million active subscribers as of September 2021 in the telecommunications industry, while we have about 50.8 million bank customers with biometric verification numbers BVN. This buttresses the opportunity for the PSBs in Nigeria. How are PSBs different from commercial banks? 1. PSBs are not allowed to give out loans and advances like commercial banks. 2. PSBs are not allowed to engage in fixed income trading but can invest excess funds in federal government and CBN issued securities. 3. PSBs are only allowed to accept deposits from individuals and small businesses, excluding the public sector. The deposit will be covered by the Deposit Insurance Scheme. 4. PSBs are not allowed to accept foreign currency deposits, except personal remittances, which must be sold to authorized foreign exchange dealers. How PSBs will operate? 1. You will have to open a bank account with the PSBs. 2. You will have the ability to transfer funds from your traditional banks to your PSB bank account, just like you can transfer funds to or from some microfinance banks or merchant banks to commercial banks. 3. If you opt for debit or prepaid cards, it will be issued on your bank account. 4. PSBs will pay interest on customer deposits, though the rate of interest is yet to be decided. 5. You will be able to withdraw your funds and pay for services as PSBs will be allowed to deploy POS and ATM in some areas. Why will Nigerians open bank accounts with PSBs? As you are aware, the telcos have a strong infrastructure and huge subscriber base. Hence, the cost of transactions will be minimal for the PSBs relative to commercial banks. High transaction cost is a major factor preventing many potential bank customers from using a bank account. The telcos will be able to leverage their agents in rural areas to facilitate transactions, thereby attracting more of the unbanked. The operations of PSBs may likely reduce current and savings account balances of the commercial banks in the medium to long term as funds move from commercial banks to PSBs. Also. The PSBs can invest excess funds directly in government and CBN issued securities but are at liberty to place funds with any commercial banks. Notwithstanding, we expect to see significant collaborations between PSBs and commercial banks due to their inability to grant loans and advances. The PSB business 
will add significant interest income to the revenue of the telcos. Investors were already pricing this new source of revenue in the share prices of MTN and Airtel Africa in the past few weeks. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For comments and feedback, kindly forward to ccradio at rccgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 70 Stay blessed.